In this video, we will build a chat app using Django and Pusher. Before I show you the app, I would like to remind you that this video can be combined with other videos. So if you want to use Django with any of these frontend frameworks, I provided some links in the description of this video. The combinations are required, so after you finish this video, you have to complete the frontend in order to build the app. Now let's build the backend. Now let's create the app. So I'm in an empty folder here and let's uh, create our Django app here. So Django admin start project, I'll call it app and this will be inside this folder. So we added app and manage.py. Uh, let's add also the app. So Django admin start app. I'll call it chat. We need also to add some packages like uh, Django course headers. I will copy this and uh, I will install it. So Python 3 and uh, we, this will install Django course headers. So first, what is course? Uh, course uh, is a problem that uh, if we run this app, for example, here start uh, run server sorry our Django app will run on port 8000 if uh, the front end uh, app that will consume this API has a different port the browser will prevent that and uh, we won't be able to build our app so to fix that problem we have to add a course so uh, in the installed apps, we'll add here course headers and uh, we need to add our chat app here and uh, I will add here the course middleware so course headers middleware course middleware we probably have uh, it here and uh, I will remove the CSRF token because uh, we won't be using it in this uh, app and uh, we need the one last change so it doesn't appear here so I'll add it here in the bottom cross origin allow all to true so this will allow all the front ends to consume this API so uh, we added the configuration let's add also the URLs the path will be API slash and we need to include the URLs to our chat so I'll create here a new uh, Python file URLs and this uh, let's add include here and uh, here we need to include chat URLs so the prefix will be API and uh, in the URLs, we'll add uh, all the paths that we need. So here I will add uh, from Django URLs, import path and uh, URL patterns is equal to an array where we can add the, the messages path. Uh, we need the class for this. So I will add it to the views. I will call this class message. So class message API view. And this will import from API view. So uh, let's import this from a REST framework views imp import API view. And this will be a post request. And uh, for the moment, I will pass and uh, I will add it to the URLs. So uh, the URLs will need first, let's import from uh, views, import uh, message API view, and the path to messages will call message API view as a view. So we added our class and now what is left 
is uh, we need to add the pusher integration here. So uh, we need to log in now to pusher. So I'll sign in and uh, create a free plan, a, sand a sandbox plan and uh, create a channel. I called mine scalable scripts chat and uh, here go to get started and uh, this is a configuration for the front end which we won't be using in this tutorial we need to go to the configuration for the back end so here i will switch curl to python and uh, first we have to install pusher so i will install pusher so python 3 now I have installed pusher. The second change is to add the pusher client. So I will create another directory here. I will call it uh, uh, pusher. So and I will paste this. So you should uh, have uh, different credentials because uh, I will change mine. So we have the pusher client here and uh, we want to use it uh, in this message api uh, api view so from pusher import pusher client so we have this uh, now variable and to use it we have to use it like this so i'll copy this line and when we post here we'll send this event so uh, the event will have a channel and the channel I'll call it chat. It will have uh, an event and the event I'll call it a uh, message and it will have some data. So the data will be like this. So we need a username which is a request data username. And the same will be for the message. So we will send these uh, values uh, from the request. And in the end, we don't want to return anything, but I will return a response and an empty array here. So let's import response from REST framework response. And that's it. Uh, this is uh, our Python app with Django. Uh, this is the connection with uh, Pusher and we'll send this message. To test it, uh, make sure to install Postman. So I already installed it and we have to send a post request to HTTP localhost port 8000 slash API slash messages. And uh, this will be in the body. I'll send uh, a message here so the username will be john and the message will be hi uh, before i send the request i'll go to pusher and uh, click overview here and uh, we have uh, 17 messages here so i tested it a, a lot today and uh, if we send the request this uh, should be 18 so let's send this request send uh, did i make a mistake uh, i forgot to run the server so let's send the request we get an empty array here and uh, this should be 18 so as we can see our event just appeared now we have to build the front end in order to complete the app so this is our django app uh, make sure to like share and subscribe thank you